Good morning, kids, and welcome back to another video of Fox Flix on Wikizilla. Today we're checking out the kaiju profile for the Godzilla of 1989, otherwise known by now as Zilla. Let's hop in and see what we can learn from the first of the American Godzillas. Hello, kaiju fans. Continuing with the G98 month, today's video looks at the 98 Godzilla, Cyber Godzilla, and Zilla. Ooh, you're getting triple. Okay. Yeah, the CGI they use for this is... It's not level. It could have been metal. The first incarnation of Godzilla to appear in an American-made film, the TriStar Godzilla is a radically different interpretation of the character, being a mutated iguana rather than a prehistoric creature. His appearance is more reminiscent of modern reconstructions of theropod dinosaurs, and he lacks some of the King of the Monsters' most recognized traits, such as atomic breath and immunity to conventional weaponry. Instead, this incarnation yeah. relies- I mean, at least for this child, it became better. ...on his speed and animalistic cunning to evade attackers and ambush them rather than fight them head-on ultimately being killed at the end of his debut film. The one of his asexually produced offspring survived and starred in Godzilla the series, an animated sequel to the 1998 film. In one of that its storylines, the good. original Godzilla's carcass was salvaged by the Leviathan aliens and converted into a cyborg dubbed Cyber Godzilla as part of their plan to overtake the Earth. The TriStar Godzilla became particularly controversial among the fanbase due to his departure from previous versions of the character, with yeah. Toho responding to the controversy through dialogue in GMK. When TriStar's rights to the character expired in 2003, Toho assumed ownership of the design and reintroduced it as a new character called Zilla in the film Godzilla Final mm -hmm. Wars. Zilla has since been featured in other Godzilla And just to kill it off. Zilla Media licensed by Toho, including the IDW comic book series Godzilla Rulers of Earth and Godzilla Oblivion, the mobile game Godzilla Kaiju Collection, and the novel Godzilla Monster Apocalypse. For more oh, on the Godzilla okay. Zilla name controversy, please check out the corresponding video. Keeping to their official names, the TriStar character will be referred to as Godzilla throughout this video, and the Toho that's character fine. will be Zilla. I mean, that's how it is. In the 1990, uh, yeah, in the 1998 movie, it was called cool Godzilla. But then, like he said, and when the right to it expired, well, the, it was bought by, uh, you know, the other place. And so they were like, alright, we're going to rename this thing because it's not Godzilla. We're just going to call it mm, Zilla. Uh, and it's like, done. That's Following it. the abandonment of a 1983 American Godzilla concept by Steve Miner and Tristar's subsequent acquiring of the rights to produce a Godzilla film of their own, Stan Winston and his studio were hired to handle creature effects for a 1994 precursor to what would ultimately become the 1998 Godzilla. The initial design for this film's version of Godzilla oh, was created by Stan Winston studio artist Mark McCreary, and several more artists were selected to work in-house for director John DeBont and his crew. One of them was Ricardo Delgado whose wow. take on Godzilla would be approved as the final look for the monster. Devant would ultimately leave the project over Sony's attempts to reduce the budget and Americanize Godzilla. When Roland Emmerich yeah. and Dean Devlin stepped in, they. they decided <laughs> to pursue a new Godzilla design, as Emmerich felt Delgado's rendition was quote, very close to the original, but thought that it was quote, not right, because today we wouldn't do it like that. Illustrator Patrick yeah. Totopoulos created several concept drawings of the design as well as an approximately 50 Ooh. centimeter tall maquette, which was presented to Toho executives for approval to move forward with the film's production. According to oh, Shoko Tomiyama, who produced every Toho kaiju film from 1989 to 2004, the executives at Toho were initially shocked at the new design. It was so different we realized we couldn't make small adjustments. That left the major question of whether to approve it or not. They gave their consent the next day. In addition you to the CGI it. model of Godzilla, a massive 9 meter tall upper half animatronic and full suit were created to portray the monster, the latter worn by Kurt Carly for just 4 shots in the final film. In the vein of the Godzilla oh, design nicknames such as Shodai Goji, 84 Goji, and so on, this Godzilla's official nickname is Tora Goji. For Godzilla Final oh, okay. Wars, made a year after TriStar's rights to produce Godzilla sequels expired, director Ryuhei Kitamura asked Tomiyama if Godzilla 1998 could appear in the film. Tomiyama checked Toho's contract with TriStar and found that he could. Rechristened Zilla, <laughs> the monster can. was portrayed entirely by a CGI model, created by scanning a Trend Master's Ultimate Godzilla figure, used like a maquette. Matt Frank huh. would return to the 1998 Actually, that's not too bad of an idea. design again when illustrating Zilla for the IDW series Godzilla Rulers of Earth. The TriStar Godzilla is a mutant iguana, a new species That's hatched from an egg that was exposed to a 1968 French nuclear test conducted in the Mururoa Atoll Islands of French Polynesia. 
Godzilla matured over the ensuing 30 years, reaching a height of approximately 55 meters. While this origin dissatisfied many fans, yeah. as it shifted blame from the United States to another country, it was topical when Devlin and Emmerich first wrote the script. France conducted six underground nuclear tests in French Polynesia from 1995 to 1996, drawing international condemnation. The final test took place one month before they finished their first draft. Although Zilla's oh, origins yeah. go unexplained in Final Wars, supplementary materials state that Zilla is in fact a mutated iguana, and often point out that a similar creature struck New York in 1998. When talking yeah. about the 1998 <laughs> monster, the reverse happens. The fact that a similar monster appeared in Final Wars is almost always brought up. In Rulers of Earth, Zilla is one of the many monsters that has lived on the planet for centuries. A mural on Infant Island aligns him with the element of water. Oh yeah, there he is. In 1998, the Japanese fishing vessel Kobayashi Maru was sunk at sea now by a gigantic creature, leaving only a single survivor. The creature dredged the shipwreck ashore in Panama, leaving behind a trail of footprints across the island. Believing the monster was the result of a secret nuclear test their country had conducted in French Polynesia 30 years ago, hmm. the French government authorized a team of secret servicemen led by Philippe Rocher to investigate. Closing as an insurance agent, Philippe investigated the shipwreck, which had its entire payload of tuna removed, and interviewed the only survivor yeah. of the incident. The survivor had been exposed to a great deal of radiation during the attack, and claimed he saw Gojira, a giant sea monster from Japanese legend. Sometime later, the creature traveled up the eastern seaboard of the United States, causing multiple shipwrecks uh -oh. as it approached New York. Finally, the creature came ashore in Manhattan, causing extensive damage before vanishing into the urban jungle. Taken completely by surprise, the military just... scrambled to evacuate the city and prepare countermeasures against the monster. At the suggestion of Dr. Nectotopoulos, a scientist recruited it's by the topless. military to investigate the beast, a plan was proposed to lure it to Flatiron Square with 20,000 pounds of fish. The plan was set into motion, with the amount of fish being dumped into the street and military forces being stationed around the area. That's a After lot manhole fish. covers in the area were opened, the creature broke through the street and began eating the fish, soon after which the military opened fire on it. The monster fled from it and ultimately evaded the assault, with the military inflicting more damage on the city than he did. Nick was able to recover a blood sample from the creature left behind in the attack, and after close analysis discovered that the creature was capable of asexual reproduction and about to lay eggs. Nick's former college sweetheart, Audrey Timmons, reunited with him and stole some of his classified videotapes oh, about no. the monster, intending to use them to advance her aspirations as a news reporter. But Audrey's boss stole the story and reported it on live television, giving the monster the name Godzilla after mispronouncing Gojira. Godzilla. It's Find Gojira, you moron! Word. When the military found out, they promptly kicked yeah. Nick off the task force dealing with the monster. Nick was subsequently kidnapped by Philippe and his oh, men, damn. who wanted to work with Nick to find Godzilla's nest under the city before his young could hatch. The military he prepared for another young. assault against Godzilla in Central Park. Once he surfaced and entered the park, the military opened fire on him, sending him into retreat again. Godzilla dove into the Hudson River, where three submarines locked onto and fired torpedoes at him I while don't. he attempted to burrow to safety. The torpedoes struck the monster, and he sank to the bottom of the river. The military declared Godzilla dead. Following the destruction of the Madison Square Garden, the still-living adult Godzilla rose up from under the street. After seeing the oh, sharp crap. corpses of his young, Godzilla became enraged and started chasing the humans. They hijacked a taxi and began fleeing from the monster, who chased them across the city. Nick established <laughs> contact with the military, warning them- Oh my god, Ugh. if I had an answer, I would have them put in. And the scene from the Grinch to well, oh, he goes, Taxi! It's because I'm green, isn't it? Well, no, I just have that audio clip used. It was when the, the taxi goes past Godzilla, but you're like, Taxi! It's because I'm green, is it? <laughs> and then Godzilla oh. was still alive. The taxi began to lure Godzilla to the Brooklyn Bridge so that he could be easily targeted by the military. Once there, Godzilla jumped onto the bridge and quickly became ensnared in the suspension cables. With Godzilla trapped, the three F-18 Hornets flew overhead and unleashed their payload on the stationary monster. Godzilla roared out in pain, and after several direct hits, finally collapsed to the ground. Nick stared into Godzilla's eyes as the monster breathed his last, and finally died. New York immediately well, erupted into celebration, like with the threat of Godzilla finally eliminated. Until the show. Oh, hold on, we'll be right back. And we're back. Let's go. Godzilla reappears in Godzilla the series in the form of a recap of the ending of the 1998 film. Following his death, Godzilla's body was taken to the Sandy Point military base where his carcass was studied by top scientists. 
However, the Leviathan aliens took over the lives of the scientists using spheres of influence planted within some of them when the sunken alien ship, the Leviathan, was first discovered by humans. With the whole base under their control, the Leviathan aliens used their technology to resurrect Godzilla as a cyborg named Cyber Godzilla. He was ordered to eliminate Heat, who had sneaked into the facility to investigate. When the new Godzilla, the original now Cyber Godzilla's son, arrived to save them, he refused to fight his father and was taken under the mind control of the aliens. The father and son team gave chase, but were distracted by Nigel, mm -hmm. which allowed Heat to escape. Oh, Cyber Godzilla and the other mutations under alien control were then sent out to various major cities in order to destroy them, with Cyber Godzilla chosen to attack Tokyo. The other mutations were saved from the control of the Leviathan aliens, but Cyber Godzilla remained loyal. He soon confronted his son, oh. and decided to fight for his surrogate father. So wait, even though oh, but he's no longer brain controlled, he still walked with the people that made him into the monster? Father Nick, rather yeah, okay. than his biological father. The two began to fight, with Godzilla tearing out Cyber Godzilla's internal mechanisms, killing him. I'm sorry, father. Oh, yes, Godzilla was among the monsters that were secretly controlled by the Exilians as part of their plan to conquer Earth and harvest humans for their mitochondria. Zilla emerged from the Pacific Ocean and attacked Sydney, Australia, before the city was air quotes, saved by an Exilian UFO which transported him away. After the yeah, alien's plan no. was uncovered and the like, crew of the Quotenko released Godzilla from Antarctica, the Exilian controller deployed Zilla in Sydney to try and stop the King of the Monsters. And he's dead already. Five minutes, I am back. I knew that tuna head wasn't up to much. Next. Next. <laughs> That's While it, not as powerful as next. the Japanese original, the 98 Done. Godzilla is able to Done. sink three fishing boats by pulling them underwater despite them moving at full speed. He also dredged a large freighter onto shore with ease. In the comic Godzilla Rulers of Earth, Zilla mauls his enemies with his claws and teeth. While these attacks are not extremely effective against Godzilla, they are sufficient to tear apart trilopods. In addition, he displayed the ability to use his scoots as weapons. Despite Scoot. his large size, the 98 Godzilla oh, uses his speed and agility okay. to his advantage. With a top speed estimated between 300 to 500 miles per hour, Godzilla is able to outrun attack helicopters with ease, and can also swim underwater at high speeds. Similarly, Zilla is incredibly fast and agile. Zilla tends to charge at his opponents, and is capable of quickly fleeing or evading enemies when he is overwhelmed. High Jump Kick In Final Wait, Wars, what? Zilla has the capacity to traverse oh. great distances by way of pouncing, and can utilize yeah. his ability to perform a high jump kick to attack his enemies. Godzilla has a remarkable burrowing ability, being able to excavate the thick tar and concrete around New York with ease. Using this advantage, he was able to escape and hide from the United States Army. Although Zilla did not display this ability in his sole film appearance, Rulers of Earth does feature the monster burrowing through concrete and steel as he ambushes Godzilla in Honolulu. Camouflage Godzilla's skin color allows him to blend in well with New York City's architecture. He also possesses an incredibly low body temperature, which renders him colder than his surroundings and unable to be detected by the military's thermal <laughs> scanning or locked onto by heat-seeking you, Literally, missiles. you can't see In the see first me. draft of Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin's script, Godzilla could actually change color, an ability he used to ambush an Apache. The 1998 Godzilla is able to carry out asexual reproduction, producing eggs that contain viable offspring via his own mitosis. Zilla retains uh -huh. this ability in Godzilla Monster Apocalypse, where- Yeah, what was said is that the one that laid the eggs is asexual, but all the children are, well, regular, to where they have to have a mate. Which is why in the animated show, there were no other Godzillas. But though technically, Godzilla did become a pseudo-father to an unhatched egg before that egg fell into a cavern in the ice. Wherein he is given a Whoops. role directly inspired by the worst case scenario from the 1998 Godzilla film. After the French military killed the original monster, his progeny overran the city of Rouen. Text from the novel oh, reads, damn. If you leave one young one alive, no, if you leave just an egg behind, it'll hatch and reproduce all over again. The big ones are dangerous, but the oh, young okay. ones were more troublesome. They're intelligent and act in herds. The young ones act as decoys for the tanks while the adults attack from the rooftops. Damn, Finally, kind of it was more difficult to free the city besieged by Zilla than any other monster. Although not possessing a traditional atomic breath, the 1998 Godzilla does have a volatile power breath, a jet of flammable material that can ignite with explosive force. This ability was intended to be a simple blast of air, but fan outrage convinced Devlin and Emmerich to change it in post-production. 
A jet of flame right, shown during Godzilla's fire. attack on <laughs> Sydney in Godzilla Final Wars might be another example of power breath, although it's uncertain because Zilla was not in the shot. Meanwhile, when the 98 Godzilla was revived and upgraded as Cyber Godzilla in Godzilla the series, he gained a blue atomic breath, much like the Japanese Godzilla's, while his son possesses a green atomic breath. Mm -hmm. In some of Patrick Totopoulos' concept art, and in artwork or merchandise related to the film, oh, Godzilla is depicted firing atomic breath. Toho forbade Zilla from using this ability in Rubles of Earth. Cyber Godzilla has a number of missile launchers affixed to his dorsal plates, which are able to launch barrages of up to 8 All energy missiles awesome. at a time. He is also able to reflect sound-based attacks with his sound reflecting dish, using the disc installed in his chest. Weaknesses oh, yeah. The 1998 Godzilla is vulnerable to conventional weaponry. Two torpedoes from Ohio-class nuclear submarines were sufficient to knock him unconscious, and after becoming entangled in the Brooklyn Bridge, he was killed by 12 missiles fired from three F-18 fighter jets. Similarly, the monster apocalypse Zillas can be killed easily compared to other kaiju. He's gone. Beyond oh. Power Wash has Hold on, we'll be right back. And we're back to the trivia. The Toho Monster Orga's final design was influenced by the 1998 Godzilla. Modelers really? Shinichi Wakasa and Kenji Suzuki specifically based Orga's design on the TriStar version so that, quote, the Japanese Godzilla could defeat the American Godzilla. <laughs> Additionally, the roars from okay. the 1998 Godzilla were reused for Godzilla in TriStar's version of Godzilla 2000 Millennium, and for the Monster King's cameo in Always, Sunset on 3rd Street 2. Further, despite Zilla's quick demise in Final Wars, Patrick Tatopoulos was thrilled to learn that the Godzilla he designed would be appearing in a Toho film. Unlike yeah, other incarnations of Godzilla, this incarnation is known to have genitalia. Female genitalia. Patrick Tatopoulos okay, admitted this split. in the 1998 Godzilla oh, DVD special effects yeah, supervisor commentary, saying... Uh, the, just another little one about this one, it's interesting that we actually ended up sculpting the genitals. Of the creature, which you barely see in a movie, see? so to make it real, you guys are aware of that. Because yeah. when it's coming for CG, you actually, uh, actually ended up having genitals. Uh, thanks God we didn't see too much of it. They were quite discreet, <laughs> but you know, it, it was interesting that we ended yeah. up building some of that. And the funny thing is, if we did make male genitals, it'd be very scary because you know, most no. of the shots are from the street level. I think it'd be too much. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> Dean Devlin, however, denied that Godzilla was a she, in addition to denying many other rumors, including leaked images of the monster's design and merchandise. Hi, this is Dean Devlin coming to you from the trailer from the set of Godzilla. Now, I know I promised I wasn't going to respond to any more rumors, but I'm going to respond to this one last one. Now, whatever you read in Newsweek, forget about it. Newsweek got it wrong, okay? Let's make this clear once and for all. Godzilla is not a she, okay? Godzilla is not a she and does not go tracing all across the United States. <laughs> now that's it. No more responses to rumors. Nothing. Nada. Zip. Cut. The 1998 yeah, Godzilla nice. appeared in two video games alongside Toho's Godzilla's. Godzilla Generations and Godzilla Trading Battle. Pipeworks briefly considered oh, Zilla nice. for inclusion in Godzilla Unleashed, but he didn't make the cut due to oh. the team's observation of message board discussions during production on Godzilla Save the Earth. Whenever someone brought up the prospect of Zilla appearing in the game, the replies were overwhelmingly negative. In the 13th issue of Godzilla Rulers of Earth, when Zilla is seen swimming in the waters around the Monster Islands, the character Chavez suggests that Zilla may be reluctant to set foot on the islands because he isn't welcome. Oh, Lucy yeah, assures him that the other monsters will eventually come to accept him, the monsters likely standing in for the Godzilla fanbase. His return in the final issue to help the I other exist, monsters defeat like the Trilobots was a response to the uproar when his appearance in the first issue was announced. That's it for Toragochi and Zilla. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Zilla Month. Nice. Well, everyone, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below, and I'll see all you kids next time when we flick on. Peace out.